Hi, I'm Lou Ann Everman, and thank you for joining me for another free art lesson. And today we're going to paint a rusty old can. First thing I'm going to do, I'm using a half inch flat, and I'm going to start with ultramarine blue, which is the base. I'm just going to apply the ultramarine blue. What happens is when you mix the ultramarine blue with the burnt sienna, which is the next color, um, they separate and it just looks rusty. This is another case where you just don't have to get it perfect. See, I added a little water to lighten it up. I'm going to use a little more paint. We're going to also scribe this paint while it's wet so that the paint will run into the crevices and add to the texture here. This is slightly wet but not too juicy. Get a little more paint. Okay, now I'm going to get some burnt sienna and go right back over it while it's wet. It's a little much paint on my brush there. I don't want to cover up the blue. I want the blue to shine through. You see how those colors are separating? You see how sometimes I leave a little bit of the white of the paper shining through. Now while this is wet, I'm going to take the end of my brush with a tapered end and just scribe it. I think it's good to, when you're doing your painting or you're scribing, to just not do a complete, don't outline it and make a complete line, but just indicate it. All right, now I'm going to dry this painting, and when I come back, we'll finish it. Hey, we're back. It's dry, and now we're going to finish this rusty old can. And I'm going to use a little bit of the quinacridone gold. And that's going to bring it to life. A little bit too much paint on my brush. I want to be able to see through. That's what I like about watercolors. It just looks like the sun shining in there all the time. Gold. It's one of my favorite colors too. I like leaving the little specks 
It just adds interest. Looks like sunshine hit it in a place or two. So all we used was, the first coat was the ultramarine blue, and then we used the burnt sienna on top while it was wet and they let it dry and then went back on top and added the quinacridone gold. And see it's heavier in places like here and here and make it a little bit heavier down here. Could even scribe it while it's wet so you can just see the bottom of the can. There you have a rusty old can. Thank you for joining me and check out my website at www.brushmarksbyloann.com. Thank you.